So year nine, week 13. Is that lucky for some or unlucky for some? So congratulations, you've made it. It's a hot, glorious week before the end of term as you're about to go and enjoy that magical six week summer holiday. So what we're going to do today is just try to bring some of these things together. And there's a few things I want to say, first of all. Beginning really is just a thank you. When we sort of shut down, we basically were told on a Wednesday evening that come Friday, school would be closing and nobody had any idea how long this was going to be going on for, what the plan was, what lessons were going to look like. And I remember sort of sat there as a department thinking, well, how can we make this work? And I'll give credit to Mr. Brown. He said, let's do some voiceovers on PowerPoint. So if you've loved them, thank him. If you've hated him, then blame him. OK, but we've done what we can. I think I said before, I'm never, ever going to be invited by the YouTube people to come and live in L.A. and become a YouTuber. Um, the my PowerPoints. And as you hit dislike, mean, cruel. How could you do such a thing? Those of you who hit like, thank you. So really, this is a major thank you to all of those of you who participated. And I don't just mean doing the lessons, I mean proper participation, uploading your work onto Teams, sending me copies of it on emails. Um, going back to the bit about sending it on Teams, I have started to go through, I didn't realise so many of you had uploaded it. Uh, so if you have a look, I have uh, sent quite a bit of it back to you with comments on. So thank you. Some of you tick handed in and I get all excited thinking, oh, what have you put? And then I realise you haven't actually added anything. You may just have done the work and that's great. Fantastic. But it's also engagement. I get emails. I've had some of you write some really, really interesting things that you found out and things that I've learnt. So it's actually been a learning process for us all, not just about me using IT equipment. As I stand up, I've decided to stand up during this presentation because I just feel sitting down just doesn't feel right staring into a wall. Um, I don't have a particularly exciting wall either to look at, no pictures or anything that I'm looking at. But your emails and messages have meant a huge amount. And some of your parents as well have sent really nice messages just showing how hard you're working. We put a few things up on Twitter uh, and on the Facebook page. We haven't been able to put everything because there's just been so many good things that you have been doing. And I know some of you have dipped in and out of the work. Some of you have done lots. We've actually beaten the national average. OK, they keep talking about children aren't engaging in the lessons. Well, actually, nearly all of you have done at least 25 percent of the lessons. Some of you have done 100 percent of those lessons. And we will be acknowledging that come September. OK, once we're all back, it will not go unnoticed. And part of my plan next week is to at least email your parents and add lots of house points on and things to basically go, yeah, you did what was asked of you. Just in case you're still keen and interested and want to know what else you can be doing, a couple of things. One, the work will stay on team. So any of you that have got any bits that you want to catch up on, it is still going to be available up until September. Maybe not the last week, not 100% certain on that of the summer holidays, but do dip in and get the work completed. The other thing is that those of you who are going on to study GCSE or not study GCSE, it doesn't matter either way, but if you are interested, if you go onto the school's website, there are links to the geography page and it tells you about the syllabus and specification that we're doing. So have a look at that and start to sort of get a feel of what the topics are about. OK, moving on. Your mission this week, I'm not going to say should you choose to accept it because I want you all to accept it is we spent time learning about causes, effects and responses to tectonic activities, mostly earthquakes, including obviously our tsunamis and volcanoes. And last week we were looking at three things. We were looking at um, protection, prediction and planning. And I want us to just take two of these for this, this week's lesson. I want to think about protection and planning. And I want you to do one of two things. If you want to do them both, brilliant, fantastic. I'm not going to stop you doing them both. But you can either think about an earthquake proof building and I want you to make a model if you'd like. There's some great examples. I'll show you some of them on the next slide. But some of them have been using jelly. Uh, I think you may have done that with Mr. Shipman in year seven, where you made jelly up and you had spaghetti sticks and marshmallows and you wobbled it to see when it, how long it would take before it fell down. You might want to make a cake. Um, flowers and eggs seem to be back in the shops now, so you might be able to do some baking and make an earthquake with cake. Yeah, be imaginative. Or you might just basically look around the house, raid the cereal boxes, obviously once you've emptied them. Uh, don't mean empty them onto the floor. 
or just eat enough box after box of Cocoa Pops just because you want to have the empty boxes. But basically you can make a model or actually you might be really like someone who likes to sit down and draw and design and you can do that. OK, I'm not fussy as to what you do. All I ask is that when you upload it, you've added annotations, not just labels going Windows frame. I want an annotation where everything you've written about. So if you remember last time we talked about the shutters that came down uh, to stop the glass falling out. So if you had that, you would say shutters added that would close immediately as the ground starts to shake to prevent the glass falling onto the pedestrians below. That's what I mean by an annotation. Your second choice is actually rather than thinking about protection, you might want to think about planning and about what people do when there is going to potentially be an earthquake. So that how you get that message across. You can do this as a poster or I don't know, you might want to do a radio broadcast, be really imaginative and uh, do a voiceover. Hey, you can be better than me and do a PowerPoint voiceover, getting that message across as to how we're going to warn people about what this would do in case there was an earthquake. So here's some photographs of some people who've had a go at various model making. As you can see, it doesn't all have to be the skyscrapers. Remember, we also looked at low income countries and what they do as well. These don't have the annotations, um, so you would be adding those to it. And then here's some examples of some posters to try to get the message across. Some of them are what schools would do, some of them what families would do. You can choose what it is. So basically, when you have done this, I want you to make sure you upload your photographs onto Teams. They will go into your own user area. Not everybody gets to see them. All your other work, if you can put in there as well, that would be fantastic. I'd like you, please, to complete the quiz. The, the link is below. It is the most straightforward quiz that you will ever do. The most amount of marks that you can get is two. And you will see why. OK, if you do not get two, you'll be offending me. When you do the quiz, you'll see why. But don't do it until you have done the work. So really just come to an end. Um, I'm hoping if you all and the, and the whole country does what we're being asked to do, which is still think about social distancing, staying away from one another, not getting too close, not partying, not doing all the crazy, stupid things, that we will all be back in September. And as much as some of you probably go, oh, I've loved not being in school, OK, we can't keep doing this forever, guys. We need you back in and we need you all, most importantly, back in school healthy. So do have a good summer. You've got just over six weeks. We're not setting any work. OK, you've had the work. You've got what you can be doing. If you want to catch up, it's there. But you will not be set any work. So this is it. This is me doing my last year nine geography broadcast. And I feel as if I need to do a mic drop, but I'm not very good at that. So a metaphorical and here's a mic drop. Boing. Have a great summer, everyone. Bye.